Hey Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome to today's video. A bit about the cows, what I finished, and new cows I've joined, and catch up. Um, it's Sunday morning, it is a beautiful day outside, so I plan to get out in the garden after this. It'll only be a brief video. Um, it's time to do worm farm maintenance. I might actually do a video on my worm farm for those who might be interested. Anyway, today's video, let's get started. I um, finished finally a cowl for Zeta's calendar cowl for July and I have said I'm not keen on crochet cows but I actually did one and I actually liked it. So here it is. Da -dum, da -dum. This is July's crochet cowl. Now I use the Spotlight Marvel 8 ply which I really like and we have um, we buy it locally at Spotlight and I have quite a bit of it in my stash so it worked out well I quite like the way it turned out this is a bag o day tutorial um, I have to look at my notes because I can't remember I think it's called Millstone Stitch Easy Cow there will be a link in the description below I really like it I like the way she did it and I think it worked out well for my July cow it's a nice size um, Maybe later I'll get Reeves to take a photo of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like. But that was my um, July cowl that I'm doing. No, it's not going in the bot along because I actually started it on the 2nd of July and the bot along didn't start till the 5th of July. So it's not that eligible and I wouldn't enter it anyway. So that was that. But I've started a new cowl. Yes, finally Nan's Neck Snots started her luck of the draw number four and I was really excited I'd been waiting for it I'd picked out my eight yarns and with the base color and then I finally decided on a pattern and no I'm not doing a crochet project I'm actually doing a knitted project so in here we started with color one and I am actually doing um, what's it called? I have to look. This Tweedledee Knit Blanket by Yarn Inspirations. It's a free pattern. I'm not sure if that's not flaring in this terrible lighting I have. I know some people say I should do something about the lighting. But there you have it. That's what I'm doing for Nan's Next Knots. Now, I'm changing it in the sense that they do two colour combos and I'm going to do the eight. So... I have to make sure I have the right side. I've started it. This will be my base colour. And I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, what's my base? It doesn't have a colour number. And I didn't put my whip card with my eight colours in there. But that will be my base colour. And then this is number three. This one is... I thought I had that one. I know what this. I remember what this one's called. This is called Breakfast Club Blue. So basically, to be able to do it this way, it's a four-row repeat. But to get four rows of the um, chosen colour from Nan, I do it twice. So I did the border that they wanted, and then I did the four-row repeat twice, eight rows. And I'll do that for every colour she picks. But yes. I'm excited. I'm actually going to knit. Well, I guess when I googled, I was looking for mosaic knitting, and this is what came up, and I liked it. So, is it mosaic knitting? Good question. Feels like it, but I really like it. So, I have started Nan's next knots, and because I wanted to try some different things this week, and I was tidying up my shelving here, I remembered last year. I bought a Knit Pro Tunisian book set and I was doing the sampler for Tunisian crochet that way. Now, it wasn't expensive but it wasn't cheap either and a lot of things happened this, around this time last year when I started that and I stopped doing it and I cleaning up thought I really should get try again to do Tunisian crochet and get back into it. So... I have started a Tunisian blanket, crochet blanket. 
Now this is in Spotlight Stallion, which is quite an economical yarn here. I have a lot of this navy. And I'm thinking I might turn this into another luck of the draw Nan's next knots. So I did 12 rows of the navy blue. Now to get the pattern look, it's a two row repeat really. So 12 rows gave me that and I thought maybe each colour I'll do six rows in the colour choices by Nan's next knots and have two blankets on the go. Um, I haven't done up the whip card yet. I probably have got at least eight colours in this yarn. And this should make a nice charity blanket. Yes, it will curl, but I probably will put a border on it. But this is just a basic Tunisian stitch. For this, I am using um, Tunisian Crochet for Beginners One Row Repeat by Blossoms Crochet. I'll put a link to that tutorial. That's where I found it. She had it for blankets and for scarves, and I thought I might make a lap gown. Um, so they were my finished or whips. I don't normally show them unless it's a crochet along. And um, I'm enjoying them because it's a little different and getting excited for August calendar cow from Zeta. Um, I might find another cow, you never know. Yesterday I was out and about and there is across the road a, from my workplace a secondhand bookshop. She's been there for years and she sold it and another lady has bought it. I used to go looking in for vintage patterns, but it was just so hard. It was so messy. I'm surprised the fire department didn't call it a fire hazard. But since the new lady has taken over, it's so much more well organized. She didn't have a lot of uh, knitting and crochet patterns, but she's put them in like these, these stands so you can just grab the knitting or the crochet. And I had a bit of time to kill, so I was having a bit of a look, and I found Jean greenhouse storybook dolls eight delightful knitted characters that um there's and because my emma gurumi and is getting a bit see this that one i actually after buying this yesterday saw one on facebook that someone was making for christmas and I swear it's got to be this pattern. It looked identical when I find it. And yeah, some lady posted that she just needed to make the wings. And that's what got me in. That was on Facebook on a lady's page that I follow or a group that I follow. And I figure it must have been this book. I've no idea what the original... Oh, I do. This original price on this pattern book was 14 Australian dollars in good condition. I picked it up for four at the secondhand bookshop. Ideal place to look for vintage patterns if you have a secondhand bookshop and a great way to recycle. So that was my little acquisition for the week. I didn't spend a lot. A um, bit disappointed because the markets for August the date came out and it happens to be the same date as my big work meeting. So I had to let Suzette know I couldn't do the markets, uh, which she's cool about. But yeah, I was quite excited about doing them. So you never know. Um, Thing and I are planning to travel end of August, September. So I'll probably miss September markets too. I have tried, in summary, my tulip hook that I bought in number four. Do I like them? I love them. I really like the feel of the tulip hook to the point that I even like it better than the clovers that I started using, clover amours. But it is an awesome hook. I've loved it. I'm making something else. Um, I think I was listening to Kerry Penny about all her whips on the go and I thought, God, I have a lot on the go. I used to keep it to five, but it's blind out. It'll have to be at least 11 at the moment. But... I will have a day where I'll go, this is the weekend, I am going to finish whips. Some of them have small things needed doing to finish them. I'm still working on things poncho. I've probably got um, two more, almost a third done of the second half. 
but I did a lot of other crochet last week and my wrist is a bit sore so I'm giving it a bit of a rest because there's no rush for that for the bat bod along but that's it for me guys there's not a lot this week enough um, and I want to get out in the garden and do some worm farm maintenance so um, yes oh by the way um, Karen Pruden let's stitch and make up she's back doing videos um, she had some health issues so please check out her channel subscribe and give us some yarny love she is a lovely lady I'll put a link to her video in the description below but until next time stay safe take care and remember life's an adventure so have one yarny or gardening adventure every day bye for now